This instrument is centuries old, and hundreds of years ago somebody used to walk around on it. So what do you think it is? <laughs> It's an ancient Tibetan ceremonial trumpet. Let me show you. As for the walking around, it's made from a human thigh bone. It's the part of the leg that goes in there. That's the knee joint and that's the thigh. A bit odd, but true. In fact, anything in the olden days that was long and hollow could be made into a trumpet and blown like that. A shell made a very good one if you could find a shell that was large enough. Probably easier than finding somebody's thigh bone. Let me show you. This is a coil of stony stuff going round and round and round. Hole in there and a blow and we get this. If you didn't burst yourself, you could be heard for miles at sea with a thing like that. Well, in fact, uh, the didgeridoo is another. It's made from a hollow branch, and anything long and hollow could make a trumpet of a kind. It was hundreds of years, in fact, before people learnt to work metal, make tubes like this, and form the trumpet or the horn that we know today. And that's a primitive hunting horn. Today, trumpets have vowels, and you can change the note or not. Uh, a lot more easily. But in fact you can make your own rather more simply than that by using uh, a bit of PVC or plastic water pipe that you can get from a, a plumber or a hardware store. All you have to do is to remember to go not just blow. Blow will do, give you nothing but transforms into a note down the tube like this. Of course, that's a bit tedious, just one note. You want something that'll do more than that. And so really, with this stuff, it's very easy to make the equivalent of the old English cornet, which is originally made out of hollowed wood, but today you can make out of PVC piping. You drill a whole lot of, well, really, a whole lot of holes down there, just like a recorder, cover them with your fingers, and go into the other end, and you get this sort of sound. You can hear just like that, it has a sort of rather interesting old world sound, but it's tough on the lips because that plastic is really very sharp, you can see. So there are a couple of things you need to do to protect yourself. One is, very simply, to bind that with masking tape. It doesn't last very long, but it gives you some protection. Or better yet, get one of these things. It's an adapter you get from the hardware store that's good for snapping hoses onto taps. And if you bind that part with masking tape till it jams in the pipe, like that, and you cut the rest of it through with a hacksaw about there, you produce a thing that looks like this. And that's a very good mouthpiece. I'll just put the other one down and show you. That one now jams into there, and because I've cut it in two with the hacksaw, it provides a very good cushion for the lips. And you can into that till your heart's content without hurting your lips. And if you do, you've got your own equivalent of the old English cornet, and you can make ancient music. Here goes. <laughs> 